Why, hello, everybody. I can't move my arms today. Hello, everyone. Today has been kind of, did you mute that? Yes. Oh, look, an ad. Oh, an ad, fun. Do you guys see an ad? Maybe we should wait to skip. Skip ad. And it was funny, it was an ad for me too. I'm gonna flip this stuff around here. I think maybe we should do it this way. Okay. So you guys might start seeing ads on our video. That's because we just got monetized. So do if they watch the ads, is that how it works? Or is it just the fact that the ads pop up? I don't even know how it works. Um, I don't... We're monetized and we get paid for ads now, but it's gonna help us to make more videos. So please don't get mad that there's ads. The ads help us. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys. Yeah, all the, it's, it's not a lot. Like over all of our YouTube history with it has now been monetized. It was like $36, $36. Yeah. And we've had thousands Yay! of views. So $36. it'll help us grow over time. And all the money that goes into it goes right back into this channel. It's not income for us. Right. All right, guys. So hello and happy Friday. I figured I'd let you guys know why we didn't make an email announcement today and why this stream is going to need to be on the short side. Um, so basically, and for those of you who are new here, we do a 10 minute pre pre stream party. So if you're not interested in listening to us for the next 10 minutes, come back at noon. But anyway, <laughs> so basically what happened is Mr. Moore and I decided that we were going to go ahead and get our gym memberships. We've been talking about it for a while. We're going to start an Instagram for you guys. For those of you who are not aware, uh, we actually used to, be, <laughs> we used to be competitive bodybuilders uh -huh. and we were, um, we looked like monsters there for a, a very mm -hmm. long time. However, what happened was Mr. Moore hurt himself and life very, happened. Very and much. It's like we just kind of let ourselves go and we got chubby. So uh -huh. what we decided to do was we decided to go ahead and get our gym membership. We're going to create an Instagram that kind of goes over our story. We took some really big chubby pictures of ourselves to kind of serve as our start point. Which you don't get to see until we're back in shape again. Yeah, because they're very... We're, <laughs> they're, not, we're real bad right now. We're not very comfortable with them. But what we're going to do is create a designated Instagram for anyone who is, uh, you know, just curious about how we maintain business while also, you know prepping meals and things like that. But I had a fitness assessment at our gym. And because I told this guy who did my fitness assessment, you know, this, I'm, I'm no spring chicken. I know, you know, you don't have to go and break everything down to me. Let's just get it done yep. and over with. So he kind of took that as a reason to just kick my butt to the point where basically I think that I have hyperextended or I've really hurt the tendons in my um, in my arms. I can't you bend them. Want to try to touch your face for the camera? I can't touch my face. <laughs> Shut up, Ollie. I can't touch. No, I don't want to make my gym experience more and more exciting. <laughs> I can't touch my face at all. Like I, he has to put my glasses on me, and if my eyebrows are totally uneven, it's because I did them like a T Rex today. And I have the exact opposite problem. He, Up until today, I couldn't straighten my arm. My arm was locked like this. Yeah, so. it was. It's a mess. So that's why there is no email today, and why this stream needs to be short. Yeah, so. basically the issue is, is we still lift pretty much nearly the same amount of weight as when we were into it, and it's been almost two years. So our muscles can handle it, but our tendons can't. Our right. tendons aren't used to the the workload, and we end up lifting way more than we should because we have no self control. It's hard <laughs> to when you know you can lift lift you know a right. certain amount. It's hard to you lift don't, less. You don't than think that. about reconditioning your tendons. The muscles right. are all you think about, but so, our tendons are pretty pretty shot. I can't I can't hardly walk because I did legs the day after I did arms. So yeah, we so, crippled. So another announcement for those of you who don't know, we uh, went ahead and made our donation to the um, Wolf Conservation Center. We got some really cool stuff. If you guys want to donate to the Wolf Conservation Center, go to, I think it's the Wolf Conservation Center of South Salem, New York. I got a super duper cute shirt. Yay. And this is one of the wolves that we sponsor on the channel, Zafir. We got his um, little pillow to put like maybe just back here behind when I, we're getting our shelves we just need more items for our shelves but you and guys can and then there's my personal charity which none of the business stuff goes to oh but planetary society we, i just get no, cool plan, magazines we plan to donate to the planetary society that's why we that, that one's for me though i'm, right. a, I'm a space nerd Ugh. So those are the two, those are the two charities that we sponsor, the Wolf Conservation Center of South Salem, New York, and the Planetary Society, which for those of you who don't know, did Bill, Bill Nye, 
Bill Nye isn't it's, the he's the current like, he's the current CEO. Yeah. yeah, it was started by Carl Sagan, which was another scientific mastermind. Yeah, so super duper fun. Lag, I love lag day. Lag day, I love lag day. Lag I, day. I thought that she was trying to is that say the day that, where all the Call of Duty kids get really mad. The where oh the game is lagging. We yeah, we thought that maybe the screen was lagging. So today, oh. guys. We're gonna. You all right? Yeah, I'm hurting real yeah, bad today. We're moping. We had today. to. We had to jump up first thing this morning too and go. So basically, we have a big portion in our backyard that used to be a garden that we, you know, planted food and stuff in, and we just don't have the time to maintain it. So we're gonna have it all like mulched in, so it's like a little play area for our kiddo. And my grandma messaged me this morning that the company was gonna be here today, and it was not. It ready was, for it we have to it was all overgrown still yeah it was still all overgrown so we had to run out first right when we woke up this morning pull all the weeds out she had to do most of it because i can't bend over because of my my legs <laughs> yeah. and then and then go around and fix the tarp and it we're was, still not done it's, we're gonna have to run right out and finish that when we're done here too right and i even with my arms hurting as bad as they did i was like down on my knees having to pull she's this. the only one that can actually get low enough to do it it's just been a mess guys it's been a mess a messy morning yeah but it is hello itty as stressed as all of you are about the etsy changes hopefully today we can kind of settle your nerves because from all of the research that we've done, what we know so far, um, and you know, we've kind of debunked one of the biggest myths that people are for some reason circulating. It's not going to be that big of a deal. So stop it, Amber. What'd she say? Oh no! <laughs> God, that's like every high school dance. Every high school dance. She's in the UK too. Mm -hmm. it's, and it's probably for them too. I mean, they have the it, same music we do for yeah, the most part. But I. Are we more lewd here in, I don't in the know. United are States? We, are we lewd guys, here? Do you guys see us as, for everyone who isn't in the U.S., do you see us, or our American teenagers, as being more lewd? Exclude me in that, because I know for a fact that I am. Well, yeah, but... But I'm, I'm me, so... I love how Itty's just walking nah, we around. we have sniffing. better music. Yeah. <laughs> Not going to get into that argument today. Well, they, they actually, you know what? When it comes to like the metal scene and the music that we listen to, they do have better music, I think. Uh, the Most of the guys I listen to are from like Australia. That doesn't. Well, yeah. Parkway Drive right now is my favorite. <laughs> oh, band I got to scratch my nose and then we have to start. Uh, All right, y'all. We're going to talk about Etsy changes today. Who's excited about all the Etsy changes? Let us know in the comments. I looked into them as well. Nothing nothing scary. <laughs> Everything's fine. All right. We have notes. Once again, we don't use notes very often, but if we use notes, it's because we have a lot of information and we don't want to miss anything. So I know a lot of people are like, ah, you had to read from notes. Well, yeah, we had to read from notes because we don't want to miss anything important. So. Yes, coffee. Coffee. Tim Morton's coffee. <laughs> All right, guys. So here's what's changing with Etsy. And we're gonna ooh, we're gonna kind of screen share a couple things with you, um, show off some of the changes. I do love a good change. That's the spirit. That is the spirit because <laughs> Etsy transaction fees are increasing from 3.5% to five percent now that's not really where everyone's freaking out because when you look at that if you had a 50 dollars order that would be just 75 cents more so if that's not the big deal what people are freaking out about is that that's also going to apply to your shipping okay um and what what we've what was it what i'm 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 losing it here what sites already do that? Amazon already does that. eBay already, eBay already does. already does that. And if you do transactions straight through PayPal, PayPal does it as well. Right. If you do it through your website, you're probably using Stripe or um, PayPal. PayPal. And they all do it too. So everyone's freaking out about those transactions uh, fees and the added fees onto your Co shipping. It costs There's a lot to run a website. Just like normally, obviously, we don't like to share a lot with finances here. But when it comes to running a website, ours is small scale. We still have a little less than 100 members on the Academy website. And I mean, it costs us, what, two grand, uh, roughly two grand a year for all the plugins and stuff. And we have maybe a tenth of what Etsy has to use. Right. And that's, we're on a small scale of less than 100 people. You know, Etsy has how, hundreds of thousands of monthly users. So, I mean, if you really think about it, 
they already are, are cutting it pretty close with the amount of money that they have to pay to keep their site up. Not to mention they probably have their own servers, which costs a fortune to maintain anyway. Right. And we're going to talk a little bit about where all that money's going for everyone who's mm -hmm. freaking out. Yeah. So um, another, and th the reason that they're really doing this, it's kind of to stop, or, you know, a lot of people speculate it's to stop everyone who charges maybe like, a dollar or two for a listing, but then charges a thousand dollar shipping, trying to bypass the Etsy fee, the 3.5 transaction fee, because, you know, ultimately you could pretty much get away with murder by doing that. And I know that a lot of sellers do it. I see it all the time. Yeah, I see it too. When I just, when I'm going shopping for stuff. Right. So they're trying to kind of prevent that. And honestly, you know, that's, it's the same issue Amazon had when Amazon first let in it, like, cause they used to only do the, like you'd send your products to Amazon and then they would sell everything. And now, you know, obviously Amazon has tons and tons of sellers. Well, they had the same issue when they first started letting sellers on there. You'd go on there and you'd buy something for $5, but shipping would be 170. And I'll, this happens on all websites and Etsy's finally going to start cracking down on that. Right. And uh, Linda Sue said, if you use calculated shipping, then it's basically covered anyway, because you get the discount. For yeah. US I mean, it's now, the fees really aren't that big of a deal. And the, and the big thing is, is like uh, people have already commented on here. Most of it's going back into things that are for you. Yeah, I'm sure the C uh, and this is all speculative. Everything in this is going to be speculative other than what we show you. I mean, of course, the CEOs are probably going to make a little bit more money. I mean, they're, they're doing extra work. That's just kind of how business works. Right. And another people, another thing that people have been saying, sorry, I'm so out of it today. I'm like, we've, we've had a rough week. Yeah, it's been <laughs> crazy. Um, a lot of people have asked, well, I'll just offer free shipping and that'll help. Well, if you know, I mean, I'm not even good at math and I know that that's not going to help because you're going to have to tack that shipping onto the item price and you're still paying a 5% increase or, you know, 5% over the 3.5%. So offering free shipping doesn't bypass it. It's just one of those things that Etsy charged less than any other platform that you could sell on. And now they're getting up with the program and they're using that money to do like some really great things. And we're going to cover all that later. So if for not, any reason, not, not to mention USPS constantly mm. increases the prices and we don't see much of that reflection over here on this platform. I mean, we do see price increases, but it's not as much as what the prices are actually going up. Right now. Another thing that they're going to be doing is um, offering three different plans. And we're going to kind of show you, you know, what we know about those plans in just a few minutes. Directly from Etsy's website. Right. So the first plan is standard. Standard is what we have right now. Everybody who doesn't, you know, pay for a plan. Sorry, I'm like trying to get my hair out of my face. Everyone who doesn't pay for a plan, you're going to be standard. Standard is what we have right now. Everything you have right now will still be available. They're not right. taking anything away from you. That's the, that was one of the big things everybody was freaking out about at first. You're losing nothing. Yeah. Everything you have now, you will still have access to. Right. And then the other plan that they're going to be rolling out, um, it's going to be this month is plus. It's going to be $10 a month, but that price is going to increase this January to $20 a month. So you're kind of getting your foot in the door. If you want to test it out for $10 a month, you're going to be able to, is that July that they're going to be able to do that? Yeah, July is when the, the first account's coming out, and then the next one comes out in January. Okay. Um, and, and then Linda said, well, this is this was probably one of the biggest things we see people online freaking out about. My only concern is the package deals. Who uh, Will those who purchase the paid account get better exposure? No. Not by proxy, no. Absolutely A not. Etsy, and Etsy, Etsy has, said that. Yeah, Etsy won't. specifically said that they won't. And no worries. We're, we have some of our students and people that we're going to be working with. We're all going to be looking at analytics. We're going to look at our own analytics. We're paying for both of these accounts whenever they become available so we can see if that's that's going to be happening. Obviously, if you have more things to customize your shop and make it look pretty, you might get more exposure, but that's not because you've paid for the tools. It's because you're utilizing extra tools. Right. Because that's how any, any website works does subscription services. Yeah, and this this package is gonna give you a lot more customization options. So everyone who does end up seeing an increase in traffic, it might not be because of SEO, it might be because your shop looks better now that you have these extra tools. So but let's- possibly pushing us out of the way, no. No. It's not going to, to affect SEO and most likely, according to at least Etsy themselves, it's not going to push you ahead in the rankings. Like if you're on page three and you start paying for a pro account, they're not going to push you to page one. That's not how that works. You still right. have to do the work yourself. You just get things that make it a little bit easier to run your shop. Right. And we even talked to Anthony Wolf about this, um, you know, the 
the mind behind EtsyRank.com and asked his opinion. And he said that if they were to make you pay for rank, th they could be looking at lawsuits. So yeah, um, yeah, they can't. You can't do that. Right. You, you can't pay to put yourself at, at the top of the game. Um, let's see. <laughs> Will Anthony be uh, adapting Etsy rank? So no one really has access to what Etsy's doing yet until right. they release it. So at this point, other than what Etsy has said, everything else is speculation. So as soon as the new uh, API is released for the updated changes, I'm sure he will. If if they allow people to have access to additional things in the API, right. that might not be even changing. And he's constantly communicating back and forth with Etsy. He does it like on mm -hmm. a weekly basis. So we it's, try to stay in the loop as right. much as possible. And Anthony is one of the guys that really helps us stay up there because right. he's in direct contact with people from Etsy on a weekly basis. So I'm sure, you know, he's already, he's very aware of everything that's going on and he's preparing. So, you know, no worries about that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and share our screen. Go ahead and scroll to the top. And we're going to show you the page of changes. The one that most of you have probably already seen. This is the one that will tell you exactly what your, is this the one for the package or is this the one that talks about the overview? Did you just want the package? Because they've probably seen the overview Yeah, page. let's go ahead and just go to the package. And if you guys want to see these pages, they are linked down below. Um, so there we go. And does that look really tiny, guys? Let us know if this looks really tiny. Really tiny? Oh, the, okay, so I can't view our own window here. No, because it, it's just- Can you all see it? Let us know if you can see it, and then we'll, we'll go through it. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> is it super tiny, or is it actually- No, it should be the whole screen. I did present to everyone, looks okay. fine here. Okay, we'll go ahead and continue. All right, so basically this, the, you can actually get to this link off of- It's down below. Off, well, off of this page, yeah. And we'll They're have both it, we'll down have below. It, we'll have it linked below. So basically they go through every, this is just a short description and this is all stuff that Let's you guys have, have heard, but we'll, uh, this is the, this is the plus membership specifically. So the being, $10 able, to, a being month. able to customize your shop, obviously we don't know how this is going to work yet. All they say is that, you know, new banner templates and, uh, featured listing options. Now this isn't like featured listings that you can push to like page one, not like paid advertising. It's not, it's not like that. It's what's basically, you know how you have those four featured listings that you can stick at the top of your shop for everyone to see. What we believe is that this is going to allow you to take, you know, and maybe add more products to that, or maybe you can put in your best sellers that everyone misinterpreted this as being something about SEO. When this entire bullet is all about customizing your shop, SEO would have nothing to do with shop customization. So don't look too far into it. I think that they're literally just making a new place for you to stick new listings. And, so people and, know and how to make them look a little bit prettier from, right. the, from the thumbnail perspective. Exactly. So we'll go ahead and look at this one here. Send, yep, custom send customers your own web address now i i don't recommend if this is the only thing that looks interesting to you out of all these things for this kind of account please don't get the plus account right because you can do this so much cheaper through a domain host yeah you could do it for what you can buy a dot com for like a buck so. yeah you can buy you can buy your dot com for like a dollar and just have it redirect to your etsy shop so there's no there's there's no reason to do it if this is all you're interested in uh, we'll do this one next. Uh, tell your shoppers when your items are back. I love this. Uh, don't lose a sale because of a sold out item. Email interested shoppers when the item's back in stock. So I'm a, I'm assuming this is going to be a part of the wish list feature, um, where somebody adds it to their wish list. If it's out of stock, as soon as it goes back in stock, it'll shoot them an email. It might even just be a whole separate button, like interested or remind me when it's back in stock. And this is going to be really great for your best sellers, those items that you want to sell over and over and over again. So I, I think that this is a really great tool. And I know eBay and Amazon both have these tools too, don't yeah, they? I believe so. I know yeah. eBay does. Amazon, okay. Amazon has it too. And then um, this bonus, is great. <laughs> yeah, this is this is pretty cool. Uh, obviously, you could just pay for this with your twenty or twenty or ten dollars, but twenty dollars, fifteen listing credits. So basically, fifteen free listings and five dollars in advertising credits each month, which comes with your account. So that's pretty cool. So Eileen asked, "So do you think that this is going to be like the pattern shop?" No. Um, this when you buy a .com, what it would do is basically redirect 
to your Etsy shop. So if you know, my business is art by Starla Moore and someone typed in art by Starla Moore.com. Um, if I were to use this function, it would redirect them to my Etsy shop. So this is not a pattern site. This is not Etsy giving you a website. This no, is Etsy it's giving literally just you telling people go to my website, like my website.com and then it'll automatically go to your Etsy shop. Right. Like there's no actual website. It's just it's just a redirect link. Exactly. So let's and then see. save on discounts on custom packaging. I'm assuming this is just going to be stuff to package up your uh, your products. envelopes, boxes, things like yeah. that. So and, then, and obviously this is all speculation. But if we scroll down, you actually get. Let me um, zoom that out a little bit so people can see because this is their whole screen right now. Okay. Um. So. Standard, obviously, this is your standard stuff. This you, is everything this that is we everything, already have. Yeah, everything you already get. Now, we'll go with the plus first. Plus and premium both get the same stuff up until a certain point. Advanced shop customization. Obviously, we have no idea other than some stuff with banners and featured listings what this is. Wouldn't you lose your website? You would use a totally different... Um, you would have uh, to use a different domain. You'd have you have to. Yeah, you'd have to use a different URL. It's really out of focus. Um, I don't, I mean, that should be, that's, that might be on your guys's end or it might just be at, it might just be the, the quality. Try to full screen it and don't worry about the chat for a few that's minutes. That's not, that's not going to oh, okay. affect the, the look of it at all. Well, I guess it does. Yeah. Okay. I'll full screen it. All right. Sorry. We can't see your chat. So if you're talking, we just have to wait a second. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll answer um, questions at the end. Cause we want to make sure that we get. Oh, we already went here. over this, but the restock request, so uh, uh, maybe an extra button or add on to the wish list that lets people know when stuff's back. Custom packaging, we already talked about that. And then the custom web address, which we talked about before. Um, and then we go on to premium, which is going to be coming out January of next year. We have no idea how much this is going to cost. They haven't um, They haven't announced that at my, all. My guess would probably be that this will be on either a tiered basis or like a pay per what you use basis. If not, I think it would make sense for it to be 50 or 100, just depending on what these things mean here. Right. But advanced management tools, so tools for people uh, with employees. So this is basically going to be for bigger, larger Etsy shops. Um, and I think that a couple people speculated that it's going to have maybe some like payroll function and. Po um, yeah, possibly. We, it's it's we all don't speculative. Know. I think anything you hear from this is likely speculation at right. this point. Premium support. Now, I, I we have seen a couple people saying that this will be in the plus as well, but this is right on Webse et Webse Etsy's website. So I don't I don't think you're going to get any additional support with plus, maybe chat or something like that. But premium, obviously, you're going to be paying a lot of money, so you need to be able to get a hold of them if you if you need to. Um, and then tools that they haven't discussed. Yet. Right. And, you know, speculation. We think that these are probably just going to be more stats, tracking, different analytics, things like that. So nothing on here says like, oh, you guys are going to be paying for rank. They're, that is the big myth. Everyone's freaking out. They're saying, well, if I can't pay for these plans, I might as well not be on Etsy anymore. And that's where, you know, things are getting crazy. When in reality, there are a lot of great things that are coming from these new plans. So we're right. going to quickly talk about the pros. You can go ahead and know. Yeah, and list, listing credits and promoted listings, it's... Uh, we don't know what that's going to look like. Obviously that's going to, I know, honey, I, that's, that's going to be based on how much you're paying. Right. So we do have a list of pros that we want to go over really quick. Um, and for those of you who said that it's super duper blurry, links are down below uh, for both pages. Yeah, These pages are on Etsy. They're available for everybody to look at. Right. They're down below in the video description. So, um, so let's talk about the pros here. And I kind of had to make a list because there are quite a few pros to all of this. Really and are. basically where is your money going? Why are they doing this? Why do they need more money. Well, first of all, they're getting more tools and tools cost money. You have to have people to design these tools, to maintain these tools. You have to have money to make this possible. Just like anytime Anthony Wolf releases a new tool, he has to have funding to do that. That's why it's important that we, you know, stick to Etsy and support Etsy during these times rather than getting up and leaving before we even know what's yeah. going, you know, what's going on. And um, <laughs> Sen said, I hear a lot of people saying they're switching over to Shopify because it's getting too expensive. No offense. If you think it's getting too expensive, you're in for a real reality check when other websites like Etsy or 
like Shopify end up getting to a point where they have a lot of customers and they have to do the same thing to be able to maintain keeping everyone on there. Running a business every, is expensive. Every, <laughs> everywhere does this over time. You can't escape fee increases. That's how websites right. work. There's more people coming to Etsy. Before I met her, I had never heard of Etsy. And now it's in advertising everywhere. So Etsy is a growing platform. They have increased cost. Every person that signs up for an account and every seller that joins up, that's more server space. That's more data that they have to hold. It costs a lot of money to run a website like that. Right. And a lot of people are saying, you know, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Good. People are leaving. Sellers who aren't super serious are leaving. Sellers who are just selling mass produced junk that they buy on eBay are leaving. A lot of people are whining rather than changing. What this means is that we have an amazing opportunity to take their place and re-pioneer what is ultimately going to be a new landscape. Everybody who's leaving and freaking out about it, they're making room for us to completely dominate the marketplace. And, so, when, they, and when they see how good some of these changes are, if these changes do make a big difference... They're going to come crying back and have to start all over again. And not only that, but the best thing that we've heard so far is that Etsy is using this money to increase their marketing budget by at least 40%. That's that, and now that's speculation. Right. I don't, I, we don't have the original source for that, but a lot of people have said that. So. Right. Like 40, that would be, it's the cat. That would be insane. Can you okay. imagine if Etsy started promoting on TV, if we started seeing more paid ads for Etsy, you know, maybe before YouTube videos and things like that, that is huge. That is massive. 40% is ridiculous. Um, and then they also said that they're going to be revamping the teams and forums and changing things there. Um, I don't use teams and forums because I it's there's just a lot of bickering and they're not my thing. But for those of what you who like it, it, it blocked Yas. It must have it must have not seen the Y and just thought you said ass. Um, <laughs> oh, I already saw Etsy on the Ibotta app. Yep, I've heard that too. I don't know if that's because of Etsy though. I don't know if that has anything to do with these recent changes, but it is on the Ibotta app. Um, Somebody is, said commercials. That's, did you all get a did y'all get an ad? No, I said maybe they could have commercials. Oh, okay. okay. I said maybe it would be like, I'm you know. trying to read through all this. So I'm not really paying attention to what you're saying. So another thing, and we don't know if this is only going to be for paid plans, but I will pay for a paid plan just to have this 24 seven phone support and live chat. No, that's not going to be on plus. That's going right. to be on whatever the premium one is. Right. Probably. So, and that, and again, speculation. Just, yeah. I'm probably going to repeat that throughout the whole thing. Right. Speculation. We've heard, but we've heard. We've from a lot of people that there's going to be 24 seven phone support and live. Chat. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> now the thing is in order to make that possible, they have to have money and then they have to have enough money to employ enough people to run 24 seven phone support. So just keep that in mind. Call centers cost a lot of money. So if he they're going to, yeah, if they're, they're going to be doing that, they're going to be hiring a lot of people. And if not, the queue is going to be huge. Because you know everybody that knows nothing about running their website is going to be like, can you help me with my SEO on a phone call? Right. Oh, man, I would hate to be the first guy to work there. <laughs> so Sonora K Creations helped us a little bit more um, to understand this. But we're going to share our screen again. And For what? Oh. Yeah, don't tell them yet. Don't tell them. Just, so, well, just, they're going to see it as soon as. Yeah, just share it and let them, just let them, let them see. Let them, let them see. All right, guys, these are Etsy's, um, this is Etsy's stocks. Can we kind of see that? Scroll down just a, yeah. So Etsy's stocks. In the past month have gone up just over, you know, $10, 10 to $11 over the past month. This is fantastic. 3205 on the 11th, 4360 today. This is crazy. And um, you can go ahead and stop screen sharing. All you guys got to do is Google Etsy stocks and you can kind of, you know. It's see the this. first thing that pops up. Want a job at Etsy, Mark? I doubt it. Not really, no. Yeah. So that is another like big pro. Right when they announced this change, Etsy stocks went up. So that's like a good indication that, you know, that things are going to be pretty good. So um, let's talk about how you should prepare for all of this because everyone's freaking out. They don't know what to do and they're really afraid to raise their prices. But ultimately, like I said, if you make a $50 sale, that's gonna be 75 cents more. So it's not that big a deal. If you need to raise your prices, I, I have two methods that I've discussed before um, in previous videos, but I'll go over them again really quickly. You can either do it all at once or you can do it gradually, you know, up until these packages become available or, you know, 
to accommodate the new fee, if, you know. But anyway, so if you want to do it all at once, what I recommend doing is sending out an email to your list or if you have, you know, social media that you use, if you have a following that's going to notice the increase, make it a celebration. Say, hey, guys, you know, due to blah, 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 due to Etsy's new fees, um, Etsy's, you know, doing some really great things in the coming weeks, but they have to increase my fees as a seller. So I've decided to give you guys original prices for the next three days. And after that, you know, I'm going to very slightly increase my prices. And, you know, if you make it seem like a good thing, people are going to get excited about it and they're going to use it as a reason to shop. So don't get upset. Don't make it seem like you're venting to your fans. They don't really care. <laughs> like what they care about is getting items. So, you know, just make it fun, make it a celebration, increase them all at once. Or for the next, you know, if you don't mind taking a hit, because I know that these changes are coming in the next few weeks, you can increase those prices gradually by a few cents here and there. And you you know, that sometimes that can take a lot more time. The way that I did it was every time I released a new collection, I would increase the prices slightly. Um, so it's completely up to you. Honestly, I think that you should just pull the bandaid off fast if you need to increase pricing. My yeah. prices, my prices already are, you know, I, I, compensate for discounts and things. So I'm not touching my pricing. I'm, I don't need to increase it. I can afford that little hit on, you know, my shipping and things. So I'm not that worried about it. Do we have any questions? Yeah, somebody asked what the exact date was. The website just says July. Linda Sue said uh, the 15th. So I'm, I'm yes, not sure. Yes, I do believe it's the 15th. Yeah, nobody, and like Shara said, there, nobody's going to care if you raise your price by a buck or two. It's it's really not going to affect you that much. Um. So let's go ahead. Let's see, what, what did I say? Oh, <laughs> here's the big thing that we need to start remembering because everyone's leaving and we have this great opportunity to re-pioneer this landscape. Start thinking about, about the holiday season and stocking oh, up. Oh, yeah. Like right now, Etsy stocks are raising. They're going to dedicate more money to marketing. This has the potential to be the best holiday season on Etsy ever. And the way that you make sure that it's the best holiday season on Etsy ever is to begin preparing now. Start working on your advertising, your marketing. Start making photos do photo shoots while it's still nice and warm out and maybe like you know stage it like everything's laying in the snow get some of that fuzzy craft store fake snow that you can buy do whatever you can to prepare now revamp your shop revamp your marketing if you've been thinking about buying a new logo and branding and things like that do it before the holidays but get all of this in place i would say before october because that's really when you need to begin promoting and marketing for the holidays this is a really great opportunity for us. Everyone's going to be leaving the people who aren't serious, your competitors that are just whiners who, you know, don't want to pay the extra few cents for all the extra marketing. Personally, I think that this is a great step for Etsy. And I really do feel bad for everyone who yeah, can't and, see it that and way. And Deb made a good point. She's going to sign up for Blush Plus just to see what it is. And it's $10 a month and you're getting a total of $8 back in credits and ad advertising. So realistically, if you're already paying that much, you can just pay for this and it's only going to cost you $2 extra. So Right. And here's the thing, guys. Not that bad. What I keep saying in the Handmade Alpha community is that business always has to evolve and change and we have to adapt because all, I mean, if you were to take a businessman from the sixties and put him in our modern day marketing age, do you think that he would even be able to do anything? And do you think that he would be able to run his business effectively? No, there's no period to grow and to change and to adapt and to evolve. And we have that. It's not like this is all getting slammed on us at once. Business always changes and it always has changed. And if you can't keep up with these changes, then business isn't for you because it's never going to stop changing. This isn't the first major change that Etsy's made and it's not oh, going to be no. the last. It's just over the few years we've been doing it. It's drastically different than when we started. I call these the I call these the the earth shattering changes and I've experienced at least 5 of these changes since I've been selling on Etsy where everyone's like I'm leaving Etsy and I'm selling somewhere else. And then they always end up back at Etsy because they realize that the change wasn't that big a deal. So don't don't just 
you know, run away because you're afraid of these tiny fees. Because when you think logically about this, the fees aren't that much and you're getting so much more. And this is ultimately going to be a great thing for Etsy. So um, I think that that is pretty much all we yeah, needed to cover, guys. That's pretty so, much it. Anybody have any questions? Any thoughts on how the sales tax ruling might affect things? So I haven't fully, I do have information on the sales tax um, information. Basically what they're trying to do is, um, you know, rule that sales tax can't be applied for states that aren't your own, you know. Um, he's like, oh. uh, we don't really that have it. doesn't really come out of our pocket. That comes out of the customer's pocket. Yeah. Sales tax. You don't pay that. We, they it's good. It's going to be tacked on. Okay. We're going to cover it later because I'm still looking. Yeah, we in, need to, we need to look in for more information on that. There are, I have a I have a fun story while you guys are typing in short story while you guys are typing in your questions that kind of applies to that. I heard this story a few weeks ago where apparently um, a mother wanted her son to stop eating sugar. So she took her son to go see Gandhi and she said to Gandhi, my son won't stop eating sugar. Please tell him to stop eating sugar. And Gandhi said, OK, come back in a week. And she's like, OK, fine, whatever. And she takes her son and a week later, they walk all the way back, take her son to Gandhi, and she says, okay, we're back. We, you know, we waited in the village. We're here now. We'll tell my son to stop eating sugar. And Gandhi looks at him and he says, okay, son, stop eating sugar. She's like, why did you need a week just to tell him that? And Gandhi said, because a week ago I was eating sugar. So that basically means that we can't tell you guys to do something until we've had a chance to do it too. Okay. So. There's your story for the week. Have fun. Tell that to your kids. Yay. All right. Do we have questions now? Nope. Not yet. Oh. Sales tax on internet sales will help all of our states put some money into our cruddy roads. Now that is yeah, true. Yeah, no crap. We had to replace all four wheels on our Kia because we hit a hole that was like- $1,500 that we had to pay because we hit a pothole. Ridiculous. Because they don't make our current rim, of, well, the rims that were on our car at the time, they didn't make them anymore. And I wasn't about to sit and have some old used beat up rim on my car. In reference to Etsy rank profit and margin calculator, is there a rule of thumb for a def de uh, decent profit margin? That 100% depends on your Yeah, that's, pers that's personal preference. Like right. our profit margins have changed multiple times since we started. Like when we first started, we were in a couple thousand percent before yeah. we knew what we were doing. And then we came down and now we're at a, we're at a realistic point now. Yeah, guys. So that's all going to depend on your products. I would Google it and just see what is the standard for your industry in terms of pro profit margins um, because it's going to change drastically, even for jewelry, because there's so many different types of jewelry. You can't just type in jewelry and find an answer. So have you noticed that Etsy is boosting new shops more than older shops? When I look up my main keyword that I use for rank for has a ton of new shops on the first page. Well, I mean, you have to also consider that that's not that you can't really find what page you are on unless you're looking at where you would be without a search history because which Etsy, is nearly impossible to do if you don't know exactly what you're doing right you can use etsy rank to do that to see what page you would land on organically but it's your search history that's affecting what's showing and your location and right. the, possibly the things people in your location search for right it's it's called trend analysis which is something new i think we discussed that uh two months ago yeah where basically it's like anything else you search when you go on like Amazon and it gives you recommended listings. That's all based on your search history and people in your area, what they're typically searching for people like you that have a similar search history, what they search for right. that all factors into what you see when you search for a product now. So if I were to search the same thing as you, we would get completely different results. Absolutely completely different results. Right. So, um, but they are trying to help newer shops too. It's more random. It's not like you get a spot and you stay there for everybody. You know, you're going to be shown to your target market or the people who are most likely to buy your product. Amber said, how is the best way to change your normal shop to a festive shop all at once? Uh, Amber, do you mean like for the holidays? I'm I assuming that's... I wouldn't do too much to like to rebrand your shop for the holidays. If like you're thinking about rebranding as, you know, a business, go ahead. But for example, if you look at like Tiffany & Co's website during the holidays, sometimes they just add a little like string of Christmas lights and a couple little snowflakes. Like don't do a complete you know, Santa Claus came and vomited on your shop. Don't do that. You want to make sure that you're just adding a little bit so people know yeah. that you're ready for the holidays. But don't, I see these shops that just, they make these 
Oh, they make the banners the, that are yeah. just all oh, Christmas everything. Stop it! Too much, too yeah, much. You want to keep your shop in general a little bit true to itself. Well, true to itself and a little bit like religiously neutral. That, that way, too. you can still sell to people of other religions and stuff like that because that's Unless you're, you're selling to the whole world when you're selling on Etsy. You're not you're not a storefront. You're you're an right. Etsy shop. So and, you got to make sure you're. Fair. Unless you create you know products for specifically, which yeah. is there's nothing wrong with that. Either. Right, exactly. Um, I try. I just do. I usually do like a string of lights on my banner and I add snowflakes on it. I I you know I just make it wintry. Did we ask that we get chrome wheels? No. So actually the reason it costs so much money is because we had to also get four completely new tires because the size of tire that our old rims had were, they're a really obscure size that nobody really uses. So it was nearly impossible to find tires <laughs> and rims that matched. So no, we, we, I got like a cheap pair of Koenigs that were like 800 for all four. And then the tires were like 600 bucks. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see here. Are they going to start taking fees out of your payment account instead of hitting us with a monthly debit? We don't know. We, yeah. we don't know how that's, it's, you know, as much as we do with that. We always manually pay out of our payment account. Yeah, we pay. She, she asked that question earlier and we were in the middle of our, oh, okay. our thing. I didn't forget about you. Just hadn't had a chance to get to it yet. We don't know. Yeah. We try to pay it manually every week, just like everybody else. But sometimes you miss it. It happens. Let's see here. La, 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 la. Do, do, do. Amber said, no, I mean, I don't want to add all my Christmas cards to the shop one by one. Oh, I would launch a collection, Amber. I would just do it. Just launch a, a holiday like collection. Like keep them all deactivated until the launch date? Yeah. 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 D just uh, maybe activate them. I would, I would aim for early October, to be honest. That way, because people want to have a chance to send them. And for you, they might want to order like a, either order them in bulk. Um, you could even do it in September because you're in the UK and I'm sure that you probably have a lot of uh, customers in the US. You could launch those in September and then they people would have plenty of time to order them. So she said, can't you turn that tracking off so they don't customize search and advertising? No, 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 you can't. That's that's your computer. You can't. That's that you can turn that's off your browser. Yeah, you can turn off quite a bit. But the only way to really get around that would to be using either an IP spoofer or something with a VPN. And if you don't know what that is, then just don't worry about it. But uh, not really. There's some Every stuff, website does Yeah, it. like there's some stuff you can turn off like on your phone and on like your Facebook and stuff like that. But it, I'm not gonna get into it because it's really in depth, but no, not really. They can still see what you're looking at. Right. Um, I'm super excited about all the changes. Me, Me too. too. I'm excited about Advice these for changes. the holiday, stick a Santa hat on it. Yeah, exactly. That's that's a good, I mean, I've done that. Just stick a Santa hat on it. I would feel it. better if Etsy policed people who resell products and kick them out, that would be worth the extra you cost. Know See, what? the thing is, that they, takes employees. Right. You, you know how long it would take to sit, how many listings are on Etsy now? Yeah. Millions and millions of, that would take hundreds of people, hours and hours and hours a day to be able to do that. And, and then proving that. it. Yeah, and then proving it. You have to have evidence. You can't just kick somebody off your website for no reason. Right. So <laughs> she said drag about no chrome wheels. They still look nice. They're black steel with a, with a, with a polished steel, uh, outer rim. They still look really nice. Let's see, they order all the Santa hat on your pet cards in there. Yeah. Oh, here. do you see uh, Cynthia, uh, the cozy fox shop? Etsy trend expert Dana Isom Johnson will be interested introducing our global marketplace to a prime time television audience as a judge on making it July yep. 31st. Making, cool. I applied for making it um, and they didn't pick me obviously or else I would be super um, excited about it, but I'm excited to watch it. And Keep Michael said, I heard Etsy will advertise on making it on NBC also. Yeah. Making it. That's what I, the, I remember I applied to be on making it, but he loves, what's his name? What's his name? Parks and Recreations. Darn it. What's his name? Whiskey guy. What's his name? You asked me way too fast. I'm too tired for this crap. What's his name? He does our whiskey. What's his name? I don't know. What's his name? Guys, tell us his name. What's his name? What's his name? He loves him, but he just doesn't know his name. Ron, Ron Swanson. Swanson. Yeah, the man man. <laughs> the man man. All right, guys. So if you guys have any last minute questions, feel free. Nick, Nick Offerman. Offerman. If you um, if you guys look on YouTube for- Watch his Yule Log special. I turn it on every, every uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Nick Offerman Yule Log. It's just him sitting in front of a fireplace sipping whiskey for like mm -hmm. six hours. It's so it's you not can, six hours. It's 30 minutes. You, you put it on your TV and he just sits there silently and every once in a while he'll do the, the man grumble where- <clears throat> <clears throat> 
And then he sips his whiskey and he looks. Yeah, they're called dad noises. Dad noises. He looks straight into the camera. When's making it on? I would Google it because I'm actually not sure. Um, we don't have it, cable. We don't have cable. We, not, we watch all of our stuff on the interwebs. Not because we can't afford cable, but we think it's stupid. Don't pay for something that you only watch like one channel on. So And I hate commercials. Yeah. God, I hate commercials. We've got Hulu and Netflix. We don't want cable. That We don't watch anything. We don't we, really watch TV. What's funny is we actually had it in California because uh, I called in about some internet issues we were having. And obviously we run a business and they were trying to make it where we had, like our internet was totally down and it was going to be a week and a half before they could get back out. And we had orders to go out and I was like, this ain't going to do. So we got that all fixed up, but they said, you know, you could pay less for your internet if you also had cable. I was like, yeah, but I don't, I don't want cable. And they're like, well, how about, how about we just send you the box and put it on your account and your internet will be $25 cheaper a month. I was like, yeah. Yeah, sure. So I just had a box for like two and a half years. It was sat in my closet. I never used. Is making it on Hulu. It hasn't aired yet, so we don't know. Hulu usually, I don't you know. You can usually catch clips of stuff on YouTube anyway. Right. Or or uh, articles people have written about what was said. It, kind of it'll stuff. be somewhere on the internet. It always is. So If that, it happens, it's on the internet. Exactly. Just don't use one of those like illegal downloading sites because... You did that when you were like a wee teenager, didn't you? And almost got in trouble mm -hmm. for it when you were a kid. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Every, everybody born in the 90s torrented stuff when they were little kids. Let's be yeah. real. Every Everybody downloaded music. Was, Most people I know still download music. I don't because I like, I'm an artist myself. I right. Like, I like supporting the artist, even though they only get like 0. 0.00001 cents per play on any platform. But <laughs> I need a Wi Fi extender. What would y'all recommend? What would y'all recommend? A Wi-Fi extender? I don't know. We don't. We don't use those. We use Ethernet over power. I've just get on. Look for something that has better than four and a half star reviews, with like maybe fifty reviews or more, and it's probably good to go. Domestic platypus. Have you been trying the coupons to abandon carts and recently viewed several weeks? Not a single coupon, but an increase in sales. Suspect it's reminding people, but they're not actually using the coupon. Good. Yeah. More money for you. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I've been using it, and I've had. Two did, sales from. Did you, did you use LimeWire? Two sales. I didn't. I used FrostWire. Yeah, she was a loser. She didn't know about LimeWire. I was all, I was only like twelve years old. You should be lucky that I was even. Go in to download a Slipknot album, and it's some really, really aggressive BDSM stuff. Yeah, I remember LimeWire. Oh yeah, that that was bad. Yeah, everything, LimeWire. everything was porn. It didn't matter what you were downloading. It was all. Porn. You think you're downloading a Disney movie, and you end up with. Porn. Oh, you're That's... downloading a Disney movie. All right. That was terrifying. Walter. Do Disney. not recommend. Do not recommend at all. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, we are testing the abandoned cart feature. So far, it's been worth it compared to what we've paid. Um, I keep telling you guys that we'll do an update about it, but I don't feel like two sales is enough for me to update you guys. I'm trying to give it like at least two months before I... I all quit posting all them places to pirate stuff. I don't want anybody getting in trouble, dang it. Yeah. Gosh we don't darn it. Buy your movies. Or we yeah, get support support the artist. That means they get to that they get to make more content for you. And and what we use Amazon uh, video, right? Or the Amazon we just buy all our movies right on Amazon and they're stored for us, so we yeah. can watch them on any device. We watch them on our TV. Yeah, whatever. My brother-in-law gets checks for forty-one cents for his royalties. Woo! Oh my goodness! Is What's... that wolf cushion part of your unboxing? No, that was from the Wolf Conservation she Center. It looks super squishy, and I want it. It is super squishy. <laughs> that was for those of you who weren't here for the pre-stream. We are donating to the Wolf Conservation Center of South Salem, New York. You guys can see the pictures of the three wolves that we sponsor at the top of the banner on the uh, Handmade Alpha Community Facebook page which is linked down below if you're not a member. And this is one of the wolves that we sponsor, Zephyr. So I bought this Zephyr. pillow to put on our alpha wall. It's You can buy these too um, if you go to their website and the money goes towards the wolves. But uh -huh. I thought that it would be cool to put one on the back wall, um, you know, to have in the background of our videos. I also have framed pictures of the wolves that we're going to put when we get our shelves. So we just, we need to get a few more items. And for those of you who are wondering about our next unboxing video, that will be soon. I, we have enough packages to uh, do it. I think we have six. I think we need two more. Oh, well. We, we normally do it when we get eight or more packages. And I think we're at six right now. Okay. So it should be very, it should be in the next month. 
Right. So, and I need to wait until I can use my arms again. So that <laughs> will be coming soon. But if you guys want to send something for this unboxing, the PO box link is down below. There is no deadline for these. They're going to be going perpetually. We did draw a winner for our last big giveaway for the $370 alpha prize package. Shall her, I send you a Bubbers coaster? Her name is Am Amber said. If you send him a cusp, as long as you know that he won't give it away, anything you print with it's, our pets on it, he will it's not. It's mine, yeah. He will not give it yeah, away. Yeah, I don't care. He he can't stand the thought of giving. Who it. who says no to a free thing? Uh, let's be let's be real. <laughs> I love you, Amber. A free thing with his pet on it. Exactly, He's, it's my bubbers. He loves his bubbers. Um, but anyway, guys, if you want to send us something, PO box link is down below. If you've sent us something so far, we probably have it. It's over there. <laughs> hey, look, we checked our PO box what yesterday or the day before. Uh, I think it was the day before. Yeah. So we'll will. probably be going up there probably tomorrow. I usually go up there before band practice. So yeah. Do you want a labyrinth or Goonies blanket for the boxing? We want to mail one. Sure. We sure. Don't care. I don't care. We don't care. Send us anything. And if it's not something that we think will fit on the wall, we will use it in a giveaway and that's free exposure for she you. Said we're frozen. Oh no. Well, that's okay. Cause we're about to end soon anyway. All right, guys, if you yeah, have, we're, we're lagging a little bit. If you guys have any last minute questions, let us know. Otherwise we're going to go and try to figure out what we're going to do about this mulch situation. I have a wolf shirt that I'd love to send you. Do you have a size and color preference? Um, Courtney, it depends on, I, it depends on the cut. I prefer men's shirts because they don't hug you so much. And in a men's like standard t-shirt, I wear about a medium. So yeah. And I wear, a th I comfortably like to wear a three X cause I like my shirts to be big and baggy nineties yeah. kid. Yeah. All right guys. Well, and color preference, uh, just darker. I know. Yeah. Dark. I, darker. Everything I wear is black. You guys know that. <laughs> I, I don't mind colors, but darker. So I don't send me a it. clean PNG of your logo. I'll email to remind you. Yeah. Yes. Just send us an email. We'll, we'll shoot it out to you. All right. And one last announcement guys, since we've still got like a minute and there's still 135 viewers. Um, no background. Oh yeah, we got it. Um, if, any of you guys need us? I know that we've been getting a lot of... Sonora said I need birth months. February, uh, February, end of February for her, beginning of May for me. And kid? Just us or kid? Kid is February kid is, too. Kid is early February. Amethyst, Amethyst Emerald, if you're wondering about... Is like Taylor colors. Amethyst? I thought yes. she was before a certain point. No, it's that's Zodiac, not, uh, not birthstones. Um, Whatever. What was I going to say? I don't remember. I was in the middle of saying something I'm important. Sorry. Oh, you guys, um, we're not going to be answering messages sent to our Facebook Messenger. A lot of people message us by Facebook Messenger. Please keep in mind that we have 5,000 alphas, and all night long, it's bidding, 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 bidding to the point where I can't even keep my phone volume no. on anymore for emergencies for same family. thing with same thing with etsy shop messages we typically don't answer messages directly to the etsy shop either please send us through email right and our email address is starla <coughs> starla at handmade alpha academy.com if you're a handmade alpha academy student you know my my email address already you guys get a special one but for the general public starla at handmade alpha academy.com that's where we actually open messages yep. i will no longer be most uh opening facebook messenger messages simply because i'm i need to just get rid of the messenger app on my phone i wasn't really anticipating that it would get and it's not all just you guys we have ridiculous people <laughs> spammers spamming. straight up spammers yeah. who who find me and message so it's crazy and you guys anytime that you need me you can email me directly so. yeah and Anna, emails are the number one way to it's, it's like a 50 50 shot you send us an email you might actually get responded to but on facebook it's it's hard to keep track because we have etsy we have multiple facebook accounts and pages we have multiple email addresses uh, we get messages everywhere. So if we can try to keep them all just in the email, it'll be much easier to get back with you. Yeah, thank you. Because if we're on nice. Facebook and we open it when we're out or something like that, and we see it and we're like, okay, and we close it, then it shows us red and we don't think to open it back up. Right. And even tagging me on Facebook is kind of hard too, because when you tag me on Facebook, sometimes Facebook tells me, sometimes they don't because I get... I. I have like at least 60 notifications when I wake up in the morning. So sometimes I see it, sometimes I don't. Just tag me repeatedly or email me if it's super duper important. Can you turn push notifications off? Yeah, you I, can, but we also message each other and stuff like that frequently. So yeah. we need to be able to receive each other's messages. We just need to switch to texting like normal people. What um, is texting? 
what is texting? Facebook Messenger also getting ready to start showing paid ads. Yeah, I, Facebook's got to make money too. I mean, you <laughs> like a fifth of the planet uses Facebook. It costs them a lot of money to run. I'm not even mad about that. Aaron can uh, make us a sign that says Starla and the Handmade Alphas for your wall. If you can't fit all that, Handmade Alphas is fine. Yeah, just Handmade just, Alphas. Yeah, that's fine. It it's we we're gonna be getting some black shelves that are going to go on each side we just we need more items to justify getting those giant shelves otherwise they're going to be empty so we wanted to wait a few weeks because we've gotten a lot of items but most have gone in giveaways um or they're right there on that little shelf that you can see so far so we need to wait to get more items to put on shelves yeah where we've been looking at some different shelves i made ikea 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 or we may just build something we got something these custom. we got these two poles here. I can't point. We got these two poles here that we can hang stuff off of to use a shelf. So we'll figure something out, but we have a general idea. All right, guys. Save the opposite spot for toots. Oh, the other side, like do one for bubbers and one for toots. Yeah. On the other side. Mm -hmm. He's excited about toots. <laughs> so much wasted time. For what? Add, oh, add 30, 30 second, second video. video to every third Facebook message. Oh. If there's a premium option to turn that off, I'll just pay for it. Yeah. That's... Ooh, that is awful. Enjoy the mulching. Oh, you just we reminded won't. Yeah, they're probably just going to take a truck, dump it all in a pile. We'll, we'll have to spread it around, but it's all good. It's free. Yeah, it's not free. His grandma paid for it. out. Of, it was like well, a gift, yeah. our summer gift of mulch. So we're super. And it was cheap because it's through my grandpa's old company. So yeah, cost like a hundred bucks. All right, guys. Well, hopefully this has helped you. And please, Ugh. if any of you guys see any like speculation in our Facebook group in the Handmade Alpha community, Please feel free to tell people the truth. You know, what's really going on now that you guys all know. Feel free to school some of those people who are panicking. Tell them to shut up until we see what it actually is. Dang it. Link, feel free to link this stream. Let people know there's no reason to fear. Everything is fine. The world is not ending. And we are going to actually really aim to make this the best holiday season so far. And you guys can be sure that we're going to have a really, really cool webinar for the holidays to kind of get you guys ready for the holiday season. Okay? Yeah. All we'll right, make guys. sure all y'all are prepared. I know y'all did great last year. Oh, yeah, especially after the Black Friday thing. We're going to have like a big Black Friday training. It's going to be fun. Yeah. All, right. all right, guys, have an awesome weekend, and we will see you next Friday. We do have a guest star next Friday, but we'll talk more about that later. So see you. See you later, guys.